The following segment is sponsored by Oregon Saves. Thanks so much for watching Afternoon Live. You know, Oregon is known for being a pioneer in creating policy solutions that actually make a difference. And Oregon Saves, the program, no exception. Here to tell us all about it, we welcome back State Treasurer Tobias Reed is with us. Tobias, it's good to have you here again. Good to be here. Thank you. So tell me about Oregon Saves. We are really excited about this first in the nation program that is putting people in control of their own financial future. About half of people who work in Oregon don't have access to a way to save for retirement at work. So right. we're taking away those barriers and giving people the chance uh, to have their own IRA. It's an opt out program. So uh, we're giving people the opportunity to get get on the path to build the financial future they want. So full-time, part-time? Everyone. So the law says that uh, if an employer doesn't offer a retirement plan, mm -hmm. they're obligated to facilitate Oregon Saves. And what that means is they'll say to their employees, unless you tell me otherwise, 5% of your wages go to your IRA. And they can change that any number they want, including zero, but most people are staying in and, and they're saving. And it's also open to people who are self-employed or working in the, in the gig economy. So getting people that first step of, of saving is what's most powerful. I get it. Because when you first said opt out, I was like, wait, what What you say now? Yeah, right. So you have to say that you don't want it. That's right. This is, this is happening for people. We're, we're helping people save money. Exactly. We're turning inertia, maybe the most powerful force in the, in the universe, into an ally. You know, an object in motion tends to stay yes, in motion. Yes. So getting people on that path and getting moving is really effective. So how is the program doing? It's doing great. So as I said, we're the first uh, in the nation to do this. Some of those other states, California, Illinois, they're, they're in our oh, way. Oh, I like they're how you did that on yes. those other states. No, they're they're, <laughs> they're going to surpass us really quickly because they're much bigger states. But we're two, two years into this now. Mm -hmm. We've got close to $25 million saved by about 40,000 people who have funded IRAs. There's another 40,000 uh, in, the, in the queue. But what's more powerful than these numbers is just the feeling that you get when you talk to people who have participated. They, they say things like, I've got a path now. I, I can see a future for myself. Wow, I'm, yeah. I'm getting ahead. And, and in this environment where there's so many other challenges, where there's so much craziness in, in Washington, D.C. and elsewhere, mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. think this is a really powerful message for us in Oregon to be giving to people that you can be in control and you can build the future you want. So how can people track what they're saving? So we work with a census. It's a national provider that does a lot in the college savings environment. Mm -hmm. They send statements, and everyone who's, who participates can go on the website and look easily. We're, we're not overwhelming people with choices. There's a, a very conservative option. There's a growth fund. Mm -hmm. And then there's what most people participate in, a, a target date fund, which just gets more conservative the closer you get to retirement. I so see. it's a set it and forget it kind of, uh, kind of approach that gives people the, the freedom to to, to do what else they need to do in their lives without right. having to worry about all the complexities and intimidating features of, of uh, financial and products. it is so intimidating it sometimes is. I get these statements and I'm like I, I just don't really understand as I look at the bottom line and see the bold exactly. number and I go okay is there actually money in here right. okay that's good enough right we <laughs> want people to have that kind of an attitude to say we're we're okay with this we're doing the right thing and we don't have to worry about all the details yeah. of course people have the choice they can opt out they can choose amongst those choices but if they've got other things things to do. They don't want to be part of it. We're going to put them on a good path that's going to give them the best chance of success. Right, right. So now what about people who, you know, a lot of people work in Oregon, but they live in Washington and how does all that work? So anyone who is employed for compensation in Oregon, if you work here, mm -hmm. you're going to be automatically enrolled eventually uh, unless you opt out. So we're rolling this out in phases. We started with large employers and every few months we, we, uh, we connect with, a, with another group of employers. We're now at the point where anyone who has 10 or more employees needs to, uh, to to facilitate. But this is such a good thing for small businesses mm -hmm. who, you know, in the words of one of them, like, I don't have an HR department, I got a, a business to run. Right. Any business can come in early into the program and hundreds of them are doing that because they want to offer this to their employees. It's an advantage to them in terms of recruitment and retention uh, and, a, and a real peace of mind kind of source for, for Oregonians. No kidding. I like it. Oregon Saves. Thank you so much, Tobias. My pleasure. This Thank you. great. Okay, what we're going to do is have a link to Oregon Saves on our website from ours, yeah, at katu.com. The information's for you on your screen, though, there, too. Thank you. Thank you. Oregon say, I like it. I like Great. it a lot. All right, coming up next, let me see. Is this a dinosaur actually running down the street? Now, that's something you don't see every day. It's trending, and I'll show you more when we come back. <laughs>